Donny van der Beek to Man United transfer rumours are back. You'll remember they were there last summer. In January, I'm going to run through everything that's happened in the last few days relating to United and our interest in van der Beek, bring you bang up to date and run through a few things that I think are very important to do with this potential transfer to United. Drop a like on the video if you are new and subscribe if you haven't already. But let's talk about Donny van der Beek. Before we begin talking about everything that's happened in the last few days with Van der Beek, let's rewind to last summer when we were linked with him then. We were linked with De Ligt, Van der Beek, De Jong. De Jong joined Barca, De Ligt joined Juventus. Van der Beek stayed at Ajax. But then those rumours came back again in January because we needed a creative midfield signing. Desperately needed one. James Ducker there from The Telegraph, very reliable journalist saying United were very interested in making a move for him. But we didn't. We signed Bruno Fernandes instead and the Van der Beek rumours went away again. But now they're back again and louder and stronger than ever. And not only just reports from England, but reports from Holland as well. From De Telegraph, who's one of the most reputable sources out in Holland, and Mike Vervidge is a journalist reporting it there. Sorry if I just annihilated your name there, Mike, probably did. And Jonathan Northcroft from The Times in the UK, both of them reporting very similar stories, but what are they actually reporting? Now, Jonathan is saying that a deal for Van der Beek to go to Real Madrid was already agreed in and around 50 million pounds, but because of what's happened with the coronavirus and the uncertainties that that has created in the transfer market, United have swooped with the opportunity, maybe, of hijacking that deal for Donny. And that's exactly what Mike is saying, that United are prepared to come in and rob Real Madrid of van der Beek and try and take him to Old Trafford. So both journalists there in Holland and England reporting very similar stories. And that's a good thing because it probably means it's true. And any time United are linked with an Ajax player, Edwin van der Sar's name pops up. And it's popped up again here. Some reports saying that Ed Woodward's relationship with Edwin van der Sar can help United in this regard. And of course, van der Sar's previous history with United is a slight advantage. But one thing that has been confirmed by van der Sar himself when he was speaking on Dutch television, he's saying that United are indeed interested in signing Donny van der Beek. And that has probably got more fans, that has probably got fans more excited, sorry, than any other rumours. Hearing van der Sar say that, because his ties to United will give us a slight edge, but ultimately it will come down to the price and whoever will pay Ajax the most money will get the man. Now, for me, there are a few things to consider when looking at the Van der Beek transfer rumours and things that I feel are important. Number one, I think if Real Madrid still want him, Real Madrid will get him. Van der Beek has already given an interview to Marca out in Spain saying that he hasn't already started to learn Spanish, basically suggesting that the deal was already agreed as far as he is concerned. And that would have been the case. I think if the coronavirus hadn't have hit the world, Van der Beek to Real Madrid would already be done or would definitely be a cert and United just wouldn't be linked with him anymore. And it's only because of the opportunities that have come because of the coronavirus that United are being linked again. Something else that's very important to consider here, the Dutch league has already been cancelled because of the coronavirus. Netherlands, one of the only countries in Europe to actually do that. That means there's no more football for Ajax this year. There's no need to keep Van der Beek this year. And the longer they hold on to him, I think the more his value could potentially decrease with the uncertainties growing stronger and stronger. So I think this summer is certainly when you're gonna see him leave. And Van der Sar last year had said that they'd already agreed with Van der Beek that he could leave this summer. So Ajax have been preparing for this. They knew it was coming. It's no surprise. De Jong left last summer with De Ligt, two of their three players who were so important to their Champions League run. Now it looks like Van der Beek is gonna follow them out the door and it was going to be to Real Madrid, but now United are linked. And it seems like we want him. But do we need him? United have now got quality and depth in that position. We've got Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. And I would argue we're probably one pure defensive midfielder away from having a really strong set of squad depth. But put Van der Beek in there and don't give any minutes or sell Jesse Lingard, Andreas Pereira. That's a massive upgrade for United. And it means the midfield just has quality and depth in every position. And you don't just rely on Paul Pogba to have a good game or Bruno Fernandes to have a good game. The quality is just throughout the squad. And Van der Beek would be a substantial upgrade on Pereira and Lingard in terms of the quality he can bring on the pitch. Any United fan will admit that. 
So in that sense, hell yeah, go for van der Beek. And I think this is just United being opportunistic in what is going to be an opportunistic transfer market because all the plans that teams have before the coronavirus have probably been screwed up and thrown away. And new plans are being written down now. People don't even know when the transfer window is going to actually be open. So everything is up for grabs. And van der Beek, clearly a quality ball-playing creative midfielder who can come in and improve United's squad. Would he go straight into that starting eleven ahead of Bruno Fernandes and or Paul Pogba? Probably not. But he'd certainly make them both better because competition, it helps a squad. It gets rid of complacency and someone like van der Beek would certainly improve us. Now, van der Sar has said that United are indeed interested. Jonathan Northcroft and Mike Vavidge from The Telegraph and The Times, they're the two journalists pushing the story, a very similar story. As I said, we were previously linked with him last summer and in January. And for the third transfer window in a row, van der Beek's name is on the list of players that United are interested in and actively going for now. Either that's a complete coincidence or United really have wanted him all along. Let me know what you think about these transfer rumours. It is another one that's going to actually lead to nowhere, or is it one where United actually go and improve in a position where I would say it's not our priority in midfield, certainly. But any United fan would love to see Andreas Pereira and Jesse Lingard get no minutes now in comparison to someone like van der Beek coming in. And I'm sorry for Lingard and Pereira for saying that, but you've had your opportunities. And United now need to be ruthless. We need to get rid of the players that just aren't good enough and replace them with players that are good enough. Someone like Donny van der Beek is a massive improvement in that sense. But do you think United will sign him? Do you want United to sign him? What could our midfield be with him in? Let me know in the comments below. If you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, I like that. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want me to do any videos, as always, let me know in the comments because I do read those. Until next time. Take it easy.